as of now, we've already collected the food and uh, we've been started distributing the food to uh, four different pantries. Uh, some of them being a uh, project just because uh, Framingham Shelter, uh, Brockton Church and Westboro Food Pantry. Uh, my role in this food drive project, it was to organize and um, coordinate which route we will drop the flyers and uh, where to pick up the food. Uh, due to COVID, we even offered to do a pickup to uh, the houses uh, we offered the flyers to. Um, I think that's why this year uh, the food drive was doubled compared to last year. That's terrific. And um, Thank you. Uh, were, were there a number of towns that distributed food to this program? Uh, was it a bun like a bunch of different food drives? Um, yes, there was also one more in uh, Westboro. My, uh, my fellow friend in Westboro, he's also um, doing the same thing I'm doing here, uh, organizing and uh, coordinating uh, uh, the flyers and like which route they will be delivering throughout their neighborhood. And they've also started distributing throughout the pantries as well. Wonderful. Yeah, and there are other town also, Tom. Um, in Hopkinton, uh, these boys did it. And uh, in other town, because, uh, you know, Suhas was inspired with Subhanjay, what he did here with his friends. You know, they, he thought like he can have fun at the same time. You know, they are doing social service, and, you know, giving back to community. So he was inspired and he did with uh, 23 volunteers over there. But there are in Shrewsbury, in other locations in Massachusetts. So entire Massachusetts Seva has done a food drive. That's terrific. And um, yeah. the food drives, uh, they go to four different organizations, you said? Yeah, from Hopkinton, like we didn't expect this big. You know, I did love, me and Madhuri did last, but this year is like, it's literally double. So we were... Last year, we were able to give a project just because and Bay Path in Marlboro. But this year, food came so much from Hopkinton. We distributed to more, you know, like Madhuri said, let's distribute to more, more other part of the state, you know, our Massachusetts. Excellent. Yeah. A little freeze there. Uh, it's a windy day out there, so uh, could be a little interference from that. We'll hope for the best. Uh, so, Shabanje, mm -hmm. uh, you started this project. Uh, what inspired you to do this project? And could you talk about uh, how you coordinated everything? Okay. Uh, since my childhood, I've seen my mom volunteer. And since last year, I was more involved in helping my mom with these activities. And I saw how our small effort could go a long way and be very impactful for the families in need. Um, I feel that everyone's very blessed that they have a hot meal on their table, but some are not that fortunate. And um, I coordinated this project by uh, splitting up the groups and we each uh, took our own lanes. Yeah. Terrific. And uh, the next question I was gonna ask you is uh, what was your strategy during the project? But you kind of explained it there. Uh, is there anything that you could add as far as the strategy? Uh, uh, was there yeah. a lot of uh, like uh, promotion materials and stuff like that? Well, uh, my goal for this project was to be very efficient and make it fun for everyone who's volunteering. So uh, since we're just a bunch of friends who wanted to help make an impact in the community, I think we all gelled together. And this is one of the reasons why uh, the project went so smoothly. Is the food drive still going on? Can people still donate items? And what type of items are you looking for? And, and how would someone donate items? Yes, thank you for asking these questions. I was waiting for, this. Uh, like I said, you know, being part of the food pantry near home, right? Um, every week, uh, like in a board, every week we get review, like what's what's we need. And uh, I am, I we always get like, you know, I'm very active in social media. So Kathy, thank you, Kathy, what you do. She always asks for clothes and all these items, but mostly needed Items I found so far in most of the shelters are um, diapers, wipes. That's the most needed item, paper towels. And another important thing, a lot of people miss out is teenagers. Teenagers item is so much missing. I'm just requesting everybody, think you guys are teenagers. Go back to your age when you were eight, 
teenager, what are the items you needed? Those items, please donate to any shelter, any pantries. Everybody's looking for that. Yeah, perhaps Especially, school supplies. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Especially with teenagers, you know, they want like a deodorant. Those things, mostly people don't donate, right? And those things, uh, when as you grow up, you need all those other, these kind of stuff. So that is more uh, scarcity in most of the pantries. Terrific. So it's not just food. There's also uh, some not other just items food. Yeah, yeah. Food well. is always needed, right? I don't want to insist too much in food. Food is always needed, but these are the items. Is mostly every time I ask them, and that's why I like when Madhuri talk about the medicine supply, which we can uh, take benefit of. You know, it's not people are using their money. It's just if they don't use that fund, it's gonna like you know they will lose the money. So that's why we gave as a save opportunity. That was Madhuri idea to like, okay, why not to ask them to buy um, medical supplies like a, a pressure machine, right? Blood pressure machine or a diabetic machine or a strips or, uh, you know, cold, uh, like a Benadryl, like a, a Tylenol, all those stuff. Yeah. 